Okay, so, hi everyone. Hopefully the microphone is working okay and you can all hear me. What this video is, is really just a short three minute summary of, I guess what my paper and presentation combined will be, should they be accepted into the next round of this competition. The title that I've chosen is A Journey Towards Change. And really what my presentation and paper slash paper would be is kind of a summary of this, this strange journey I've been on for the past six years almost. And I mean, really it started with this man. His, his name is Christopher Cuttle. And way back in 2009, when I was only getting into lighting and I was reading about lighting and I was trying to absorb all this different information from so many other places, I read this one really cool, really interesting paper by, by Kit or, or Christopher. And what Kit was suggesting was kind of perceived as revolutionary. It was like this really, really, really big change or certainly perceived as a big change at the time. And Kit was suggesting that we change our, strat like our standards drastically, that we switch from the use of the horizontal plane as the main, I guess, uh, criteria or component that is embedded within our standards. And I, you know, I understand, I'm fully aware that there are a whole range of other criteria, but when you talk to the, the average person involved in the design or specification or installation of lighting, this is what they perceive to be at least the most important thing. And what Kit was suggesting is that we move away from this and we move to something new called mean room surface excedence, which is the total amount of light that's bouncing in the space. So Kit is really suggesting something in my mind I think is quite simple. It's a change from the amount of light that lands on the horizontal plane or the floor to the total quantity of light that's bouncing around in a space. And I guess, yeah, so, so back then in 2009 I became interested in it and by the start of 2011 I, I had already begun researching it properly myself and we built up a whole host of experiments and that research really has progressed over the, the past four years or five years almost. So what my paper would be or my presentation would be, should it be accepted again, is it would be a summary of the work that I've presented at various other places. I mean people may have read articles that I've written or, or seen presentations that I've given previously, but they were always somewhat fragmented in that they presented an element of what it is we've done or a section of what it is we've done and never really given the entire story as one. So what this paper and presentation would allow me to do is present the entirety of what we've done over the last five or six years. And I guess more specifically, these are the things that I, I would talk about. I, I would introduce you to the new formula that we have proposed and defined to replace what Cuttle had suggested initially. I'd have a look at how we've addressed some of the practicalities, so some of the tools and the scripts we've developed to measure MRSE in practice, but also to calculate it within particular softwares. I'd look at the core of what we found, the, the relationships that we've discovered between MRSE and how people react to both brightness and their sense of, of satisfaction in a space. I'd show you how we've applied it on some, some real world projects over the last, I guess, more specifically in the last year, but of recent, let's say, we've been able to apply it on projects. I'll then talk you through some ongoing studies that we have at the moment, so we're looking at a really, really widespread measurement of MRSE in offices to ultimately define what the level of MRSE is within current offices with the intention that this could be some sort of benchmark for the future. And then finally, I'll talk you through some sort of thought exercises and thought processes that I've been having on MRSE in daylight and not only how we can use it with an overcast sky, but how we can also introduce the sun into those calculations to embed it within sun hour scripts or within climate based methods. So again, should the paper be accepted, this is really what it is it will give you an overview of. And I guess the outlining factor is that I'm, I'm excited, I guess, to, to present all of this in one space at one time. And it will give people who listen or read the paper itself in particular a really good overview of you know, what it is we know about mean room surface accidents in 2016. And it's kind of the full story. So 
yeah, thank you. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's okay. And yeah, thank you.